Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your 12 Zodiac uh, Love Compatibility Reading and Outcomes for June 2019. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you check out all four of those, um, especially uh, Moon and Venus as they are your um, your emotions, your, your relationships. So... I'll just get a couple more shuffles in here and we will get started. All right, Libras, I think I am ready. I'm going to tip you on down. All right, your guys' energy coming into the month of June is the Tower in Reverse, clarified by the High Priestess. I'm going to go ahead and pull another clarifier. My goodness. The Queen of Cups is under that, the world and the knight, and the queen. Usually I don't like to have court cards um, or major arcana as clarifiers, so I am going to grab another deck quick. I haven't had to do this because I don't want seven clarifiers in one reading. So let's get a clarifier to the tower, please. All right, the five of swords. All right, Libra, best for last. Let's see what you guys got going on here. Most definitely getting over some heartache of your past, um, following uh, your intuition, following your guide on where to move forward, allowing your emotions to be felt, um, putting yourself first and walking away from a situation that was not good for you um, and was was borderline toxic um, for you to be around. So Libra is dealing with an Aries. Queen of Swords. So um, for those of you who are dealing with an Aries, they are taking a very uh, laid back approach as well, not jumping in feet first. However, you are coming in at the same vibration. This person is as, is as enlightened as you. You're both wide awake and ready for a relationship. This person could have recently gotten out of a situation uh, relatively close to yours. You guys could be mirroring each other. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection because, uh, I mean, look at the, it's like a mirror almost. Um, could be a same sex relationship, but doesn't have to be. Um, this is just your vibrational match. Your your mirror to the soul is here, and your intuition, your inner guide, led you to this beautiful relationship. After um, the tower, after the universe helped you eliminate all things in your life that were not for your best and greatest good. Success is coming for you in June with this person. Um, very loving, honest, truthful relationship, um, and it's gonna it's gonna be amazing in June for this connection um, and moving forward of course if you are dealing with a Taurus this could have been the person you are walking away from in this energy um, they did not want you to walk away they did not want to walk away um, though you chose to do what was best for you and leave a situation uh, that was crumbling to the ground um, I do see this relationship done and over in the month of June and not coming back um, around for the two of you there's too much hurt too much pain um, for this relationship to move forward in as far as the energy I can see, um, you know, down the road years, you know, it may be different, but as for the month of June and, um, within a month after that, this is done, this is done and over with you're following your heart, doing what's best for you and working on your own self, walking away from this Taurus in June. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're holding back, um, from, Moving forward in their own truth, um, there's something holding them back that um, is keeping the two of you from coming um, together. You are healing from a past relationship. You are trying to balance out your own emotions, be uh, get enlightened to what you want, balancing your own self out. They are having trouble living their own truth. They are holding back from doing what they feel they're called to do due to a relationship. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, there could be some delay in June. As far as this person coming into your life, meeting this person, you know, getting into a relationship, there's going to be delay. And uh, I don't see that coming um, back into... Uh, I don't see this relationship getting together until the time of Libra. So that's September. 
All right, for those of you dealing with a cancer, they have the nine of shields. This person energetically is a beautiful um, person to get into a relationship with. They know their value. They know their worth. They have invested in their own happiness, their own self. They're not going to lose their identity when they come into a relationship. You're not going to lose your independence, which is important to you, Libra. Um, this is going to be a very fair, balanced, beautiful relationship for the two of you. You are meeting this person in the month of June, and this will turn into a beautiful relationship. Relationship, um, with success. This is um, somebody who is guided to and led to you. So um, this could be a soulmate that's meant to come into your path. The two of you will have something to complete together. Um, amazing for you Libras dealing with a cancer. For those of you dealing with a Leo, um, they feel uh, battered and bruised from this relationship. They are also walking away. Um, the two of you had kind of a rough go um, with this relationship. A lot of Excuse me, my throat chakra is starting to close. <clears throat> a lot of like battles between the two of you. Um, they feel that this relationship has really, uh, really took a toll on them. So you are both walking away from a situation, and the uh, relationship with a Leo is ending in June um, because it's just been too much, too much. Um, the Ten of Wands will be coming shortly. If it doesn't end in June, it will be shortly thereafter. There's been too much like bloodshed, not literally, but um, you're going to do what's best for you and walk away from this situation altogether, uh, Libras. For those of you dealing with a Virgo, Virgos are stuck, 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 and they have been for quite some time, and it isn't changing in June. You are hoping for a Virgo to come towards you. Um, you got out of a situation that you needed to, um, or this could have been with your Virgo in the past, but they went back to a situation um, where they now are feeling stuck there. They feel like they can't get out of the situation, um, but it's all in their mind as we know with the Eight of Swords, you could be doing like moon magic or like trying to do a spell to get this person to see what is in front of them, to see that they can walk out of the situation. Um, in the month of June, however, I don't see them getting out of that. Um, no matter how much love and attention, affection, whatever you give to this person, they're still um, not seeing a way out in the month of June. So... No connection with a Virgo. I mean, you guys could be talking and connecting, but they're not going to leave a situation they're currently in in the month of June. All right, Libra dealing with Libras. You guys are at a crossroads. What are you going to do? What are you going to focus on? What is? What are you going to allow to set your, your world on fire? You, um, Libra, could be um, manifesting this person into... Uh, into your path. I don't feel the two of you have been together yet. Um, when you meet each other, though, you're going to you're gonna know instantly in your heart, in your mind, your body, your soul, that this is, a, uh, this is somebody sent to you from the divine. There's going to be a lot of love shared. This is a beautiful match, actually. Very balanced, very loving. Um, you two will walk a path together, um, exploring, finding new passions together, finding new hobbies. This is a good connection for you in June, Libra. All right, for those of you dealing with a Scorpio, um, be cautious. There could be somebody else in the midst and you are not aware of it. They're trying to juggle their energy. Um, if you do know about it, this is the tower moment that happened. Um, and you're um, trying to listen to your inner guide, trying to allow it to lead you out of this situation um, or to guide you where to go next. This person in the month of June, you guys are still together, but they are um, trying to balance their time, their energy, their effort, their their investment between you and something else doesn't necessarily have to be a third party person. It could be a job, could be a hobby, could be family, friends. You know, um, this is just not fully investing in the situation. Um, love will conquer all in this situation, though, and eventually Scorpios will get that uh, that balance figured out, and it will. It will balance out after the month of June, however. I'm seeing two to three months. I don't feel it's a third party. See, like a third party person. It's a third party, but somewhere like job, family, friends. Something other than a sexual connection outside of your relationship. So don't fear that. That is not what's going on with those Scorpios. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this person is very connected to source, very enlightened. They are on a higher path of ascension. Um, they are very 
very knowledgeable when it comes to the spiritual realm. And so are you. You guys are intuitively guided to each other. You're the high priestess. They're the hierophant. Um, this can be a very spiritual connection. The two of you can work in the spiritual arts together. Um, and you, you went through this dark night of the soul coming out as the high priestess. Uh, very spiritual, very connected. They went through a similar um, situation where they came out also connected to spirit. The two of you are going to, I see traveling for some of you, but you're going to work in the spiritual arts together. And this is going to be a love, a passion that the two of you share. This is a very strong, strong, strong connection. And this for sure is um, a, a marriage of a lifetime. Uh, very beautiful energy around the two of you. Um, that's amazing for you. Um, they may not know, however, all of their spiritual gifts. They may not realize because they're kind of untapped yet. Um, they they could be working under somebody, like trying to learn these gifts, um, but they're going to figure it out. And when they do, they're going to be strong as hell um, spiritually. Amazing connection. Hold on to them, Sagittarius, Libra. All right. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're throwing you out of balance. This is an unfair or this is an out of balance relationship. They could have done something that was very unfair to you, creating this tower, five of swords. Um, they are energetically out of balance. They need to get their own life in order and their own emotions, um, situations, everything balanced out. So this relationship can uh, find some ground, solid ground again. However, in the month of June, I do see this ending between the two of you. Um, you, you are um, ending this with the Capricorn for the majority because uh, you, you know the value of truth and you know the value of karma and they are kind of acting like neither one matter. So you are cutting off your energy and um, investing in your own emotions, your own gifts, really, um, really tuning into yourself this month, Libra, very beautiful energy, even though you are ending a, a relationship in the month of June, Aquarius, Aquarius could be leaving you in the dark about something. They could have walked away from you, um, causing this tower moment once again, but you feel left out in the cold. You feel abandoned. You feel like they're intentionally keeping information from you. Um, but you're not, uh, totally, you know, crippled by this. You know how to start a fire. You know how to feed yourself. You're sitting around with friends. Yeah, it's not the best situation, but you're making the best out of it. And that's what I see with you about this Aquarius. Um, you are getting out of this tower energy feeling, doing what's best for you and walking away, not sitting in your own misery and, you know, dwelling over this Aquarius. You are moving on and uh, you are finding some peace within yourself, within this healing, within focusing on your, your inner, um, your inner guide, it's going to lead you to bigger, better places. So you are releasing this Aquarius in uh, June after they abandon you in the past. And the Libras dealing with a Pisces. You have the five of cauldrons in reverse, or they do. Um, this person, uh, the two of you did end this relationship in the past. You walked away doing what was best for you. They are getting out of this energy of being heartbroken. Um, they still feel that you are their two of cups. They still have unconditional love for you and they will be back. They are returning in June, wanting another chance, wanting to know if you will um, give this a go again. This person actually is a uh, divine partner, uh, you know, a soulmate, a twin flame. You had to go. This was part of your journey. You had to get through these lessons. You had to master your own self, find your light and dark, balance them out. You're doing that beautifully, Libra. They also had their own journey of heartache to heal from. They are doing that. And now unconditional love is, is coming forth and they are offering this love to you, Libra. And I do see in the month of June, you are going to reunite with this person, this Pisces of the past. So that's what I have for you, Libras. I hope you have a beautiful month of June. As always, thank you for coming to my channel. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Thank you for being a part of my spiritual journey and letting me be a part of yours. God bless.